Today's game brought thousands of people to Columbia, and that's good news for businesses that usually see their sales go down over Labor Day weekend. In September, the American Civil Liberties Union filed a lawsuit claiming the screenings violate Fourth Amendment protection from unreasonable searches. Our team coverage begins with KMU8's Emily Spain, who got the details of these crimes at this afternoon's press conference. Emily. And that's because they were busy giving in a different kind of way. I spent the morning with a group of volunteers working hard to give one mother of four a place to call home. Temperatures leave no doubt. Fall is here. Most definitely Edwards. Sarah. Angie. Strong hiring numbers. More than 100,000 new jobs. I, did. I was like, why would I want these ping pong balls? I get it now. Bring a hamper next time we go. Now here's a look at what we're following for KMU8 <laughs> News at 6. As KMU8's Emily Allen explains, that's more than double the amount it received last year. It's just like it's always perfect football. Have a good night, everybody.